It's week four of the NFL, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Titans and the Dolphins under the lights on Monday night. It's had many names, but only one NFL team over the years. We're at the home of the Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Welcome, everybody. Keith Scout Rock here calling this contest for you. And right now, we're putting the secondaries on notice because we have a couple of wide receiver rooms, not just dudes, rooms that can test every level of a defense. Yeah, it's more than just the headliner, right? We know the top options, but for these offenses, it's the depth at the wide receiver room that's such a big deal. If you overcommit to the biggest playmaker, this will come onto the field. So the Titans ready for their opening drive of the game. And leading them out is their second-year quarterback from Kentucky. He earned several starts as a rookie. It's Will Levis. Kate, he's had some time to work past their last game, and he needed every second of it. But you do know we can move this ball. we just got to take better care of it. So here come the Dolphins as they get set for their debut series. They'll be led out by the fifth-year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tunga Vailoa. While we all love to talk about the quarterback, he really was Back now, pressure on its way. The throw is caught. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tennessee. The Titans pull ahead 6-3 in the first. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It... From the 17. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Roger McCreary takes it away. And the Titans will take over as he records his first interception of our season. At their own eight-yard line. Levis setting the throw. And I would be stunned here, Kate, floored if we saw a third in a row right here. It might be the time to remind both of these offense. Brings up second and goal. Going ground game again here. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Dolphins capitalize on that turnover and take the lead. Raheem Mostert the touchdown. So Brock, good work there to finish off the drive in the end zone. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of... They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Back to him on second and goal. And he's able to take this one in for the touchdown. Dolphins take a fourth quarter lead. Raheem Mostert the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. He's throwing for it. And this is caught, so add a couple more to this lead they've got here in the four. Well, it may be stating the obvious, partner. I do that sometimes often, but tight ends, such a mismatch this close in. And no surprise, they win his way for that two-point conversion. Yeah, it's going to make the stop and ruin that play. Throwing his Levis. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans get it down to a single point. 
All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them. He's hit once already. This is a short one inside of 30 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And with less than two minutes to play, and they've taken the lead. That's called getting his job. Really well as they take over here. Oh, that might kill the comeback. It's intercepted. And Darius Sneed with the INT. And he makes the half go. It's a touchdown on the pick six. Well, we all know getting the interception is the important thing, Brock. But how about this guy having the wherewithal to transition into a really nice return to then get the touchdown out of it, too? Yeah, that's a great point. We talk about it with receivers, right? Getting vertical right away after making uh -huh. a catch. Uh -huh. Same thing for these defenders when they make a pick. They secure the football, sure. But instantly, they go back to their offense. and celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So it's a win on the road for the Titans. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So that puts a bow on this one for my partner Brock Heward and everyone involved on our crew. I'm Kate Scott signing off. This has been another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are your winners as we say so long from Miami.